Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to start in a new cookbook. It's the grandma's favorite cookbook that I got in the Taste of Home special delivery box for winter 2020. I'll put a link above here somewhere so you can see what I'm talking about for that. This is actually the first recipe in the book. I'm not particularly sure that I'm going to go through recipe by recipe in this one because there is 475 recipes. It probably take me like seven years to get through the whole thing. But I'm going to go through it a little bit because some of them sound really interesting. And the one today is a rhubarb and strawberry coffee cake. And that sounds really good. Strawberry rhubarb is one of my favorite pies. And I think it's a great combination of flavors that go together well all the time. So let's let's just see how it goes. I've already got a springform pan lined with parchment paper and it's greased. So that's all ready to go. Okay, so I have my oven preheated to 350. And I have my strawberries and rhubarb already in here. The rhubarb came from a frozen bag, but the strawberries are fresh. I mean, one and a half teaspoons of cornstarch. Three tablespoons of sugar. And one tablespoon of water. And we're just gonna start cooking that. And it says, bring it to a boil and then simmer it for six to eight minutes. Let that do its thing. Okay, in the meantime, while I'm cooking the strawberry and the rhubarb, this is one eight ounce package of cream cheese and I softened it and there's a quarter cup of sugar and we're gonna cream it together. And we're actually going to add one egg into the mixture. Blend again. Perfect. Now we're going to make the cake base. Starts with two cups of all-purpose flour, three-fourths cup of sugar, Okay, here's a half a cup of cubed butter, and now we're gonna cut it into the flour and the sugar mixture until it's crumbly. Okay, we have a nice crumbly mixture now. We need to reserve three-fourths of a cup of this mixture to use as our crumb topping on our cake. So we'll save that and the rest of it is good for the rest of the cake. Okay, now we need a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Half a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna mix that together. One egg lightly beaten. And three fourths of a cup of sour cream. And last but definitely not least, a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, this time we're not using the mixer we're just blending it together making sure we don't over mix okay got it nice and mixed okay now it's time to set up the cake so we're gonna layer spread this along the bottom of the spring form pan Spreader works really good for that, this type of thing. You need to spread it evenly along the bottom, but bring it up about half an inch on the edges to give yourself a crust for your cake. Kind of will hold everything else in. Okay, made it. A little bit of bump on around the edges. Okay, now you need your cream cheese mixture. And do it in the middle and leave some room around the edges to crust up. 
Oh yeah, that looks good. See, leave about half an inch. I think I'm just gonna let it stay where it lands because it looks perfect. And right on top of this, I'm going to put our strawberry rhubarb mixture, which smells amazing. Right on top. Oh, that's fantastic. And now, of course, the original crumb mixture we're going to sprinkle on top to give yourself that crumbly coffee cake top. Okay. All right, so we're going to bake this for about an hour. And I'll be back and we're going to have a taste. All right, here it is, fresh out of the oven. I got to let it cool for about 20 minutes and I'll loosen it edges up with a knife and then let it cool completely before I take the whole ring off. And then we'll be able to have a test. So we'll be back when it's all ready to go. All right, everybody, I loosened up the edges and let it cool completely. And now we're going to unhook it and see what masterpiece is in front of us. Ooh. Oh, that looks delicious, doesn't it? Well, I am ready to take a slice. Try not to eat the paper with it. Try to get more of the, the inside on my plate. Oh, it looks beautiful. All right, I'm ready to taste. Okay, I'm ready to taste this. I'm very excited. It smells delicious. I love cream cheese based fillings. Yep. This is very good. I'm very happy with the way this turned out. And this was a fairly easy recipe despite the three parts to it. All the ingredients were simple. All the methods are everything that you basically use in your regular baking. So I believe this will be a staple in my house for when I have company over for potlucks. Or just to, just to have a coffee cake. And don't forget to subscribe because I have more fun videos coming up for y'all. Y'all have a great day. Bye.